Hello all you young geographers out there and welcome to your how-to video on how to make a population pyramid using Microsoft Excel. In this video I'll be showing you step-by-step -step instructions as I record my screen to show you how to make a population pyramid in Microsoft Excel. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to collect my data and where better to get your data from than the Australian Bureau of Statistics. So um, this is the web address you need to access uh, this website. Um, I'm going to put this web address in the description of this video for you as well, but this is where we're getting our data from. So the first thing I'm going to do is search in my map. So I'm going to do the suburb of Capera. That's where I'm going to get my data from. That's the suburb I'm going to be doing. Um, your suburb or your town might be a bit different. Um, and the first one I'm going to do is click on view data where it says view data there. I'm going to, it's going to take me to a new page and I'm going to scroll down all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to download this file here called download XLSX and I'm going to download that file like so. I'm going to open up that file. It's going to open up something in Excel for me. Now it's going to present you with a whole lot of information. Click on enable editing. It's going to present you with a whole lot of information but I'm just interested in this one here called pop for population. So I'm going to click on that one. The first thing I'm going to do, so I can see everything, I'm actually going to drag over column B so I can see all the relevant headings I need. Now, before I get stuck into it, I'm going to press on File, New, and I'm going to make a blank workbook. Now, this is where we're actually going to make our population pyramid. Now, there's three headings you need. The first one is called Age, and you put that in A1. In B1, you put Male Population, and then you put 2019 in brackets because that's the data you're going to collect. And in C1, you put female population, and then 2019 in brackets. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put all the ages down in here. So our first age is 0 to 4, and you can copy me as I do this, and you can pause the video and stop and catch up if need be. The next one is 5 to 9 years old. Now, when you finish that one, it'll automatically change it to the 5th of September. Now, that's a, a, an annoying automatic Excel thing. And to get around that, all you do is put an apostrophe, and then you go 5 to 9, and you scroll down, and it'll come up 5 to 9. Now, it's going to do the same thing with 10 to 14. It's going to change it to the 14th of October. But all I'm going to do is go apostrophe, 10, 14, done. Next one I'm going to do is 15 to 19. Next one is 20 to 24. Next one is 25 to 29. After that is 30 to 34. After that is 35 to 39. I'm going to keep going with those. So 40 to 44, 45, whoops, 45 to 49. Next one is 50 to 54. Next one is 55 to 59. Next one is 60 to 64. Next one 65 to 69. Next one is 70 to 74. 75 to 79, next one is 80 to 84, and then we've got 85 to 89. Oops, no we don't. I want 85 and over. Sorry, I got stuck in the rhythm. All right, that's what you want here for me, guys, before we start putting our data in. Once you've done that, you can pause the video now if you need to catch up with that is go back into your document you downloaded. And this is the data we want here. So see how we're going to put in the males first. See how our year groups are matching that, those headings there. I'm going to go to under the 2019 data, and I want all that 2019 data for each of those year groups for males. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and I'm going to drag so I can highlight all those year groups. So I get to 85 and over. And I'm going to press Control C to copy that data. And I'm going to click and drag and pull it all the way down, all these blank spaces down. I'm going to press Control V to put all that data in there. So I'm just copying and pasting that data there. Now I need to do the same for the females. So I'm going to scroll down, 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 down till I get to female 0 to 4. And I go click and dragging down to 85 and over. Control C to copy. Highlighting down, Control V to paste. Now I'm going to do something pretty important here. I'm going to click on all the female row and I'm just going to click and drag and move it over to column D so that column C is blank. And I'm going to do the same. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just going to move the male population heading 
to column C. That's my next thing. Now, in B, sorry, C2, I'm going to put a fancy formula in here. I need you to copy this with me. So you need to type in equals capital B2, and you want one of those, and then you want negative one. And that's what you're going to do. And if you just move your um, little highlighted area, you'll see it'll make a negative, whatever's in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, um, this little corner bit here, and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag that down all the way to here. And you'll see all that data automatically pop up there as a negative for it. Now, this column is actually pretty much irrelevant for us now. Now, this is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to click and I'm going to highlight all of the ages. So I'm clicking and dragging to highlight all of that. Now, this is the tricky bit. I'm going to hold the control button on my keyboard. So I've pressed that control button and I'm holding it now. And I'm going to click and highlight all the male population and all the female population. So now when I let go of the control button, all of that is still highlighted. I'm going to click on insert and I'm going to click on recommended charts and I'm going to click on this one called a stacked bar and I'm going to press OK. Now we're starting to look a little bit like a population pyramid. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete the title. So get rid of the title, you don't need it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on any of these colored bars. So I'm going to click on this one, you double click on any of those colored bars and it's going to come up with format data series. That's the one you want. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this value that says 150 here, and I'm going to change it to zero. And once you click X, you'll see those bars get a bit thicker. So this is what your population pyramid should look like now. So now might be a good time to pause and go back over those instructions I've just given you so that your population pyramid can look like that. Now, you'll notice on population pyramids, they shouldn't have negative numbers here, so we need to change this. So I'm going to double click on where it said negative 100. You can double click on any of those negative numbers, and it's going to come up with format axis. I'm going to get rid of the axis options, and I'm going to click on the heading that says number. Then I'm going to click on the category, and I'm going to change it to custom. Now, it'll come up with some automatic codes in here for you. Now, this is what I need you to change. Your formula under format code should match mine. So let's change those now. So I want, that one should stay the same. I'm going to change this to a hashtag by pressing shift three. I want to get rid of the negative value in there. So get rid of that one and change that zero to a hashtag. And then I'm going to click add. And see how those negative numbers have now changed to positive numbers? That's what we want. So now pause. Your population pyramid should look like this. The last thing I'm going to do now to fix up my population pyramid is move uh, these numbers in here over to the left, which we need to do. So I'm going to double click on any of those numbers and it's going to come up with um, format axis. I'm going to get rid of axis options and number now, and I want the labels heading. So I'm going to click on the labels heading and go down to where it says label position. I'm going to go next to axis, and I'm going to click on low, and that's going to move those numbers over to the side. So now I have a proper population pyramid. All I'm going to do is copy that table, and I'm going to put it into the Word document I want it to be under, and I'm just going to paste it in there. And underneath, to make it a proper figure, I'm going to write figure one, population, pyramid of, and then you put the name of your suburb. So I'm going to go Kapow. And guys, that is how you make a population pyramid using Microsoft Excel. So good luck with that, guys. And please remember to always do those instructions slowly and go over and pause the video if you need any help with that. Thanks, guys.